The opinions expressed on this program are those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, staff, management, or advertisers. Coming to you on stations coast to coast, it's the Making It Radio Show with your hosts, self-made millionaires, Tommy Runfola and Todd Williams. Tommy Runfola, founder and president of one of America's top technology consumer products and media companies, author, investor, and National Entrepreneur of the Year nominee. Tommy has worked with five U.S. presidents and vice presidents. Todd Williams, founder and CEO of Inc. Magazine's 2013 fastest growing food and beverage companies in America, a former NBC TV personality and Harvard business alumnus. Making It is the source for success stories and in the trenches information that outlines a roadmap to the American dream. And now, here's Tommy and Todd. Welcome to the show, America. This is Tommy and Todd, and we have been waiting all week to share this time with you. So let's get right to it. But first, let me introduce my two talented cohorts, Mr. Todd Williams and Miss Brittany Dorsey. Say hello to the nice folks. What's up? Todd What's up? Hi. Hello. So, Brittany, what's going on today? All right. Great show again, as always, in the lineup. Uh, first of all, on our show buzz segment, we're di- going to be discussing a certain chef, and he's turning another set of businesses around. Oh. Get to that in a second. Guess I know who that is. Okay, yes, yeah, so you better, because we're going to talk about it. Okay. Then you two are saving America, and you're going to see if you can save, could have saved the circus. Uh, I, I love the circus. Well, hopefully you have a way that you could have saved it. Uh, I tried. Maybe they can go back in time and redo that. I'll tell you about that later. Um, then I'm discussing a business that is going down. Mm. It's not looking good for some businesses out there. No. Okay. Another so we'll get one. to that. Then lastly, we're going to be discussing, do you trust someone as a CEO that basically just got out of college? Mm. Can you follow that leadership, well, or is, we'll that, talk about is that. there a line yeah. for that? Is that too young? Okay. Well, we'll get to you know Tommy's story about when he ran away with the circus. Yes. And, uh, you were an acrobat. I, I was in the freak show and, um, part. Yeah. Get his feedback on that. I'm really interested. On in that a side part. note, Todd thought that he could join Cirque du Soleil, and he thought that he could do the thing where you're on like a teeter totter, and one person bounces the other one into the air. Yeah. He thought of the Cirque du Soleil acts like that was the only one he could do. And then we completely broke apart that he would be a total failure at that, too. Well, they didn't have anybody big enough to bounce him into the air. (laughs) That that was the problem. And the picture of him, like, trying to float and fly in the air. I was like, let's think about that for a second. (laughs) It's not going to go well. Then he was like, oh. Brittany, the former gymnast, wanted to just take her (laughs) dominance over me about Cirque, you she know was, what I mean? She was waiting. He's she like, I waiting. think I could be in Cirque du Soleil. I'm like, okay, 225 pound football player. I said I could like hold somebody up and get yeah. a part Good in luck it. with that. She was like, no, you can't even hold people you up. You would be the it. base and cheerleading. You wouldn't no, balance. No, you're not the flyer. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's get on with it. Making it show buzz. So the show we're discussing today is Gordon Ramsay's Hotel Hell. I hope we can say that title in the air. Sure we can. Um, okay. Mm. Well, first of all, let me say, I love Gordon Ramsay. I think he's hilarious. I love his sarcastic delivery. I me love too. how condescending he is. Me too. And so... Reminds me of Todd. And him, mean. It, you know, reminds me of Todd. That's also mean. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so him going in and telling these, you know, hotel owners, and keep in mind, these are like the equivalent of small bed and breakfast hotel owners. Right. So when we say hotel, it's like somebody decided it was a good idea to buy a bed and breakfast for his wife and then all of a sudden they're $750,000 in debt. Right. Uh, and, you know, it also highlights um, some of my fears of staying places that are, you know, not my bed and not as clean as my bed. Mm-hmm. And so they show places that have like bed buds and roaches and yeah. hairs on the pillows and everything disgusting like that. So I was personally a little disgusted at this show. But I'm glad at Gordon Ramsay's there to straighten that stuff out. Brittany, have you ever been in a bed and breakfast? Have you ever stayed at one? Yes. Yeah, yeah in the New England area, actually. Okay. How about you, Todd? Yes. Yes, you have. Yes. I, I was in one one time in Puerto Rico. They're it, unpredictable to me. Uh, it was horrible. It was horrible. Yeah. And I, tr- I tried to get out of it, uh, you know, like after the first night, and mm-hmm. they wouldn't give me my money back, and, you know, I stuck with it, but I wouldn't do it again. So Does what it, do you have to say about these small business owners since you had the experience there and you weren't satisfied? What, what do you think about this show? Uh, I, I like the show uh, and, and I like what he, he tries to do. Um, y- you know, 
as you said, a, a lot of these people kind of fall into the business. Uh, they they fall in love with the concept of, mm-hmm. of being uh, uh, running a bed and breakfast. The romantic and idea of yeah, it. Yeah, it, it seems like it's a great idea. Mm-hmm. But uh, at the end of the day, it's it's a business. And you've got to do a lot of things right. Yeah. Uh, and you, you've got to have the concept down. And you've got to have the numbers down. You've got to have the money down. And you've got to know how you're going to get customers and how you're going to do marketing and how you're going to keep people happy and what you're going to, how you're going to resolve problems. And then you get to, you know, cleaning the rooms and all, all of that daily stuff mm-hmm. that needs done. And some of these people just don't have a clue. And when he goes in there, he, he realizes they don't have a clue about how to run a small business. And that's what it is. So uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's a makeover job. And it's, it's a good idea if the people are open to it, really, you know, uh, intellectually open to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, they're on the show, so they're, they're, they're open to it a, at some level. But a lot of these people are really, you know, they want to do things their way. They think they know it all. And he's got an uphill battle with uh, a lot of these folks. They, um, I mean, they, they signed on for a third. The show signed on for a third season. So, obviously, it's doing well. Well, the show well, is. The, the show yeah. is. Um, but w- one thing I noticed about this particular type of business, you think the restaurant business is hard. Oh. Yes. This hotel business is even harder. you got to be on those details. Uh, I mean, they have everything from, they're showing everything from broken beds to... Uh, showers that are like at the four foot level so Oof. they don't even go over your head Oof. Um, bad plumbing bed bugs in the in the beds uh, and you want to talk about the, things people complain about people complain yeah. like crazy if they can't find the remote yeah. right and then you know in one place they were like no we haven't had remotes since the 1970s the, the, the kitchens are just in disarray uh, staff members passing out you yeah. know in the kitchen um employees not being paid i mean it's just whew. yeah this makes the bar business and the uh, restaurant business look like a cakewalk yeah mm-hmm. well you know like i said before sometimes people can't see what's right in front of them uh i mean if you have a lot bed, of times if you have bed bugs if, if, if the place isn't clean i mean that's that's a no-brainer you got to fix that uh you shouldn't need some outside consultant to tell you you have to clean the place you know i had one of my mentors said he would uh he owned a big company and he would buy companies and then he would turn them around and then the company he brought them bought them from would think that he hid something from the numbers or right. did something underhand and, and he said all he did was just do the obvious mm-hmm. he just did the basics right and they were so shocked that if, if someone took it over and just did the basics they were turning around. Yeah. It's all about tools and knowledge. They were just missing doing the obvious. Mm-hmm. Tools and knowledge. Use them and you can turn any situation around. So. Well, I'm not going into the hotel business. No. Okay. We're glad of that. I'm letting you know. No, no, no. All right. I'm not going to have Gordon Ramsay coming after me in my business. You're listening to Making It with Tommy and Todd, Coast to Coast. We'll be right back. <laughs> 